This is the Turfway Park Report for Friday, December 1st, 2017, day three of the holiday meeting. Eight races on the card, including the featured holiday inaugural $50,000 stake event for the Phillies and Mayors to go six furlongs. That will be carded as race five. Poly Track, as always, is listed fast. Tonight's first race is a claimant event for a three-year-olds and up, which have not won two races in a full calendar year. The distance is one mile. Morning line favorite was number six, Feats of Fire, for trainer Bird Crawford. They are racing. Gabriel's Cat bounces out well. Easy Doer on the stretch out, also displaying good speed. Civil Dispute will weigh in third. Sky Blue Mongolia, the 10 time winner, hugs the rail while racing fourth. Whiskey Shiner spun out fifth about in the three path there. Two in front of Skiff's Brewmeister, who is second at last, then feats a fire as they run around the clubhouse turn. And up top, a pace battle is on. On the outside, Easy Doer wants the lead and comes up to wrestle it away from Gabriel's Cat. These two went the opening quarter in 23. And two fifths second, they straighten up on the backside. Easy Doer shows the way by a neck. Gabriel's Cat placed against the rail while racing in second. Four and a half lengths further back. Whiskey Shiner on the outside third. Sky Blue Mongolia comes underneath Civil Dispute to overtake the four spot. A separation of four or five lengths back. Two skips Brewmeister, then about a margin of a length, length and a half back to uh, Feats of Fire. And Cozy Kitten is last. Strung out field here, 12 lengths from tip to tail. Half mile was 46 seconds flat. So Easy Doer and Gabriel's Cat continue to do battle. They've opened up about six or seven lengths on Whiskey Shiner, who has the whip come out now as Skips Brewmeister. Skips Brewmeister is moving well on that far turn run. Three quarters and one, ten and two, and they run at the top of the stretch, and Easy Doer has shook clear from Gabriel's Cat, but a fresh challenge from Skips Brewmeister, who looks up to pick the piece, pick the pieces up there as they go by the eighth pole, and just like that, Skips Brewmeister goes right on by. Skips Brewmeister just from Easy Doer, who's trying to battle on back. Three links for the back up the rail. Cozy Kitten, but down to the wire. Skiffs, Brewmeister, and Jesus Casanon wins. Easy Doer finished second, then came Cozy Kitten, Sky Blue Mongolia in 137-1. Number seven, Skiff's Brewmeister. Benefits from a hot pace up top, sits off the pace, and gets called on turn of home by Castanon and gets up to win for owner Brandon Thurman and trainer Brent Santangelo. Skiff's Brewmeister, 1040, 640, 380. Pace setter number eight, Easy Doer, was second, third, number three, Cozy Kitten, and fourth, the one, Sky Blue Mongolia. The exacta was worth 98.60. The trifecta, $529.50. A $2 super, $10,143.80. Running time for the one mile, 137 and one fifth seconds. Tonight's second race is a maiden claiming event for the Phillies and Mares. The claiming tag is $7,500, the distance one mile. Morning line favorite, number seven, Thurster from the barn of Elise Reed. And they are racing. It's Thurster who hustles on out for the lead. Norwegian Lady bounces out in second. Now Brenda's Gem slides through along the inside in third. Red Hot off the gate racing in the fourth position. Hooked at first sight is right there as well in fifth. Ro Cassiopeia has moved up a couple spots onto that far turn run. Now then we get back to 903 Tamarack and about six or seven lengths back at the back of the pack is Strawberry who now is about 12 lengths off of the lead. And that leader is Thurster, who took him through an opening quarter in 24 and two fifth seconds. Thurster to the inside of Hooked at First Sight. Now Hooked at First Sight pokes her nose in front. Thurster is against the rail in second. Two for the back. Norwegian Lady is third. Ro Cassiopeia on debut tracks the leaders from fourth. Three links for the back. Brenda's Gem rides the rail in the fifth position. Covered up by Red Hot to the outside. Uh, and then even further out, Tamarack separation of 3903 is being asked to quicken early. And Strawberry still can't see them all. The half mile was 48 and two fifth seconds. Hooked at first sight to the inside. It's a thurster. Here comes Norwegian Lady ranging up and now Ro Cassiopeia, the first time uh, starter daughter by Tisway, ranges up to the outside in fourth as the field runs to the top of the stretch. And Norwegian Lady overhauling thurster. Here's Ro Cassiopeia on the grandstand side as they race to the head of the lane. Three quarters in one, 13 and three. And it's Ro Cassiopeia who's forging to the front. Norwegian Lady battling along in second. Thurster is third. Here's 
Rogers, red and hot, gobbling him up ground, has raced up into third, deep stretch here. Rogue Cassiopeia, well prepared by Eduardo Caramoy, wins it first asking by about four, tight photo for second between Norwegian Lady and a late charging red hot in 139 and one. Number nine, Ro Cassiopeia wins at first asking here. Well prepared by Eduardo Caramori for owner Equinox Incorporated. And Leandro Gonzalez was up top for the winning ride. Number nine, Ro Cassiopeia returned seven forty four dollars two sixty. Second, the two Norwegian Lady. Third, number four, Red and Hot. And fourth, the seven Thurster. The Exacta thirty six sixty. The Tri ninety seven ninety. The Super four hundred ninety one dollars. 20 cents and the first daily double of the evening seven and nine was worth forty three dollars and twenty cents running time for the one mile 139 and one fifth seconds tonight's third race is a allowance event for three-year-olds and up which have never won two races lifetime the distance is six and one half furlongs morning line favorite number three unmoored with jockey cj mcmahon and they are off and Balazar bounces out quick into stride. Moose also prompting the pace early from between horses. It's Dos Quernos and sliding up the fence. Here comes Unmoored. So as they leave the shoot behind him up top, it is Moose. And Channing Hill will dictate the terms. They're in front by just about two and a half lengths. Racing out in the two path stable mate, Balazar second. Unmoored moves a good uh, closer third now. Actually goes into second about a length and a half off the lead. A good stalking position. The great Dos Cuernos is out wide in fourth closest to the fence. Is fighting Joe Wheeler as they... Uh, Enter the far turn, three and a half furlongs from home. The first quarter was 22 seconds flat, and it's Moose. But now pressure's coming from uh, unmoored up to the outside. Three links for the back, Balazar's third. On the four wide side, Dos Cuernos starting to close in, and now Menace the Dennis is underway from the back of the pack as the field comes to the top of the lane, and there goes unmoored. Uh, the son of Menace Shipman cut loose by McMahon and quickly opens up two, now by three on Moose. Down the center of the track from the back of the pack, Iris Proud is making up good ground, also closing in Dos Cuernos, but just outside the 16th pole, it's a one-horse race, and his name is Unmoored, who's drawing away. Unmoored was playing chess. Everybody else was playing checkers. He wins it by about eight in the end. Tight photo for second between Irish Proud and Dos Cuernos in one fifteen and three fifth seconds. Number three, Unmoored, the easiest of kind of winners, just dominates this field of allowance sorts, drawing away and stopping the timer in one fifteen and three fifth seconds. Unmoored, owned by Charles Silla, trained by Mike Johnson, and ridden to victory by C.J. McMahon. The winner, seven eighty four dollars and two sixty. Finishing second, number two, Irish Proud. Third, number one, eight, Dos Cuernos, and fourth, number six, Moose. The exacta thirty one sixty. The try, sixty two dollars forty cents. Superfecta, two hundred sixty seven dollars sixty cents. The daily double of nine and three was worth twenty nine twenty. In the pick three for a dollar ticket, ninety two dollars and twenty cents. Tonight's fourth race is a claiming event for thrills and up, which have never won two. 15 down to 10,000 is the claiming tag, and the distance is one mile. Morning line favorite, the class dropper, number five, Harlan selection for trainer Wesley Ward. And they are off. Stumble at the start for Rappi Campo, but recovers nicely. It's Promises to Keep, who's sending on out. Also quick and stride is a worry sky. Harlan Selection, the favorite, bounces out in third, about two and a half of, of the leaders. Even further out, Rappi Campo, Giovanni Curlin, cool. The link for the back spectacular exchange is in front, about four lengths from second and last. Curlin, cool, and at the back of the pack. It is Spots Appeal, who's about 15 links off of the lead, and that tearaway leader is Promises to Keep. Promises to Keep up the backside has opened up by about six or seven lengths on just another John, who's off in second. Who Worry Sky racing along in third, a length and a half for the back. Road check is fourth. Robbie Campo after the stumble of the start is raced up into fifth. It is only about six and a half off the pace now. Harlan Selection comes next and a length and a half for the back. Two spectacular exchange in Giovanti. Two lengths for the back on the rail. Curlin Cool is being turned upon. And from the back now, Catanati is starting to roll. They're starting to tighten up just a touch. Only ten lengths from tip to tail. And up top. 
top. It's promises to keep shows away. A Warry Sky and Dean Sarvis on the move in second. Racing in third is just another John. Now Rappi Campo is being called upon from fourth and starts to close in under Conchari as the field runs to the top of the stretch. And it's promises to keep has been there every step of the way and promises to keep off the turn in front by two. Uh, here's Uwari Sky second. Rompi Campo third. Down the center of the track. It is Giovante and Harlan selection inside the final eighth of a mile. Promises to keep trying to hold. Late charge. Rompi Campo bearing down to the outside. But promises to keep well rationed up top by Channing Hill. Wins by two and a half in the end. Rompi Campo was second tight for third between late charging Catanati and Uwari Sky running time up on the board. I believe may be incorrect there. It's not 132 and 1. Stand by. Number three promises to keep sharp out of the gate and never look back. Took him all the way up top under Channing Hill for owner Kristen McCullough, Stephen McCullough, and Otto Draper. The trainer is Otto Draper. Promises to keep $12, $5, $360. Second of the six, Rompi Capo. Third, the two, Huori Sky. Fourth, number 10, Catanati. The Daily Double, 63.40. The Pick 3, $112.10. Exact of 5140, the try $238.90, and the super $1,954. Tonight's fifth race is our featured 32nd running of the $50,000 guaranteed the Holiday Inaugural Stakes. The Holiday Inaugural is a $50,000 stake event for the Phillies and Mares. Three olds and up, they'll go six furlongs. There was a jockey change on number four, Lucky All My Life, to Perry Ute. Scratch 13 and 14. Morning line favorite, number two, Sentence, with Malcolm Franklin. Goes in, they're at the post. And they are off in the 30-second running of the Holiday Inaugural Stakes. And it's Fiesta who came out running, but it's Seeking the Giant Pearl who has the most speed, and quickly she clears off by two. Fiesta has yielded to second through from between horses. There goes Sentence. Down on the inside, Sarge's daughter will be a pace presence also. Link that for the back, the pair of Dolphinia and a Marquis Calgal. They are fifth and sixth, two in front of Sweet and Wicked, who is next. A link for the back, Lucky All My Life, has 12 links to raise. Tia floors to her outside. Then two wide, there's Grace's Treasure as two horses beat, and they are Conquest City Girl and Miner's Cat at the back of the pack. 12 links off of the lead and up top. They're chasing Seeking the Giant Pearl. Through from the inside, Sarge's daughter. Here comes Marquis Calgal. Ranging up to the outside, Marquis Calgal up to a joint lead. There was Seeking the Giant Pearl as the field runs to the top of the home stretch. And it's Marquis Calgal and John Court comes roaring off the turn. And Marquis Calgal off the turn in front by about a length. Seeking the Giant Pearl battling back gamely down the center of the track. Here comes Lucky All My Life who's gaining good ground. And even further out, Miner's Cat is rolling on the stand side. It's Lucky All My Life gains the lead up up on the outside, Miner's Cat not going to get there. Lucky all my life at 27-1. to Wins it for Perry Utes. Tight for second there in the holiday inaugural. Going to Lucky all my life for the Mass Thoroughbreds. Bob Gorman, Perry Utes. Running time on the board was 109 and 4 fifths seconds. Number four, Lucky All My Life lights up the tote board winning the 32nd running of the holiday inaugural rolling from off the pace under a rousing ride by Jockey Perry Utes. The winner owned by Mass Thoroughbreds, trained by Bob Gorm. Lucky All My Life takes the $50,000 stake event here and returns $57.60, $22.10.60. Finishing second, number 10, Miner's Cat. Third, number eight, Marquee Cowgal. And fourth was the three, Seeking the Giant Pearl. The Exacta, 587.20. The Trifecta, $1,298.90. The 10 Cent Super, $2,661.83. The 50 Cent Pick 4, $2,517.35. And the pick five was hit for 50 cents, $19,667.20. Tonight's sixth race is a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares. Wide open $8,000 claiming event to go a mile and 16. Scratch numbers six and eight. Jockey change on the 1A to Perry Utes. Morning line favorite, number two, ticket to riches with Leandro Gonzalez. And they are off. Stage five creeper broken a tangle, but it was a wise beginning for Will Gracie Shine. Uh, also, Conquest Sorcerer will be a pace presence in uh, through from the inside. Uh, there goes Ticket to Riches. 
So they race into the clubhouse turn. Conquest Sorcerer clears off, shows them up top by just about a length and a half. Will Gracie Shine races in second. She's flanked by She's Lovely, who is in third. Salt Star is fourth, about uh, three or four lengths in front of Cahokia, who races along in the fifth position. A length for the back. Ticket to Riches is away in sixth. Darlene's Delight is seventh, about 12 lengths off the pace. Four in front of Quality Street, who is next. And a Stage 5 Creeper is last. They head up the back stretch, and they're chasing Conquest Sorcerer. Shows the way by just better than a length. The pair of Will Gracie Shine and She's Lovely track in second and third. Salt Slar now moves into fourth. She's only about three lengths off of the lead in four in front of Cahokia who races fifth. Ticket to Riches is being asked to quicken as the field uh, makes their entrance into the turn. Conquest Sorcerer continues to pave that poly path up top in front by just three parts of length, as here She's Lovely, who ranges up gamely in hand to the outside while second. Salt Star being punched along the inside. Now Quality Street is cut loose by Mergia. Red Cap moving well as they pass the quarter mile pole and run to the top of the stretch and Conquest Sorcerer has led every step. Here is She's She's lovely. Still ranges up now. Castanon goes to work. Quality Street lugging in down the lane. Has raced up into third. Just outside the 16th pole. She's lovely forging to the front. Quality Street is going to angle to her inside while continuing to race erratic in the stretch. And she's lovely. Will give Jesus Castanon two on the card. Quality Street was second tight for third between entry mate Salt Star and Conquest Sorcerer. Number nine, she's lovely. Gives jockey Jesus casting on his second victory on the card. Strong stretch rally by this four-year-old daughter by Majestic Perfection. She's owned and trained by Myla Ryder. She's lovely, 740, 420, and 260. Finishing second, number three, Quality Street, who lodged a claim of foul against the winner, a legend interference through the stretch, but the stewards found no evidence of that. Finishing third, number one, Salt Star. Fourth, the 1A Conquest Sorcerer. And fifth, the two, Ticket to Riches. Exacta, 9 $3, $54. Try, 9 $3, $1, $77.90. Super, 9 3 $1, $2, $656.80. Pick three, $1,514. And the rolling double of four nine, $298.80. Tonight's seventh race is a maiden special weight for the maiden two-year-olds. They'll go uh, six furlong, scratch number six, Rock Me. Morning line favorite, number one, Bodan. Also horse to watch, number two, Sydney's Ransom for trainer Kellen Gorder. And they are racing. Fast start for Bursiaga, who comes barreling out. Also, Tiz Waythar, the highway was quick in his stride. And Sydney's ransom for the Barna Kellen Gorder away racing third. Big and brilliant off the gate in fourth. Now, big and brilliant making a big move up the backside, tugging hard at the jockey, and comes up between horses to vie for the lead. Deliver Glory and Colombiano races a pair, three in front of Bodan, and outpaced at the back of the pack, no socks. Mock 23 and one fifth second was the time for the opening quarter. Tis way are the highway, shows the way. Bursiaga is back at that one's throat latch in second. Here comes the highly touted Sydney's Ransom, ranging up in hand while racing third and moving with giant strides on that far turn run. Three links for the back, big and brilliant is being asked to quicken and running on from the back, Colombiano and Deliver Glory as the field runs to the top of the stretch and Tis way are the highway. Highway turns them on down, cuts the corner. Bursiaga floats Sydney's ransom out to the crown of the course as they straighten away for the stretch run by the eighth pole. Here's Sydney's ransom overcoming and Bursi still be continued to be carried out by Bursiaga. Deep stretch, Tisway of the highway battling on. Sydney's ransom well met on debut. Sydney's ransom wins by half a side. Bursiaga was second, Tisway of the highway third. Bodan was fourth. And number two, Sydney's ransom overcomes adversity, was carried wide at the top of the stretch by the nine, Bursiaga, but rallies to win it. Number two, Sydney's ransom owned by JD Racing, trained by Kellen Gorder and ridden by Dean Sarvis, returns ten forty three eighty three dollars Second, the nine, Bursiaga. Third, the four, Tis Way are the highway. And fourth, number one, Bodan. The Daily Double, $50.40. The Super, $1,119.60. The Pick 3, $940 even. The Exacta, $52.40. And the Try, $177.10. Running time, one eleven and 4. Tonight's eighth race to go six and a half furlongs. Scratch number 10, Skyfire. Morning line favorite against the rail, number one, a Caribou Cat with Dean Sarvis. And they are 
racing. Sucker Punch being hustled on out, but it's Heat Road who has the most speed to the inside. Also, Caribou Cat now being hustled up in between those two, utmost intensity. A real scramble for the front end, and it's Heat Road who emerges just narrowly from utmost intensity. Caribou Cat to the inside. Up on the outside, it is Sucker Punched. In behind that top quartet, New York Boy is away in fifth, but only about two links off the lead and is placed in a good stalking position, four links in front of Dream Meister. Then there's a margin of six or seven links back to Maringon up on the outside. Smackdown three further back to Conquest Skedaddle. The first quarter, 23 and one fifth second. It's Sucker Punch shows the way. Heat Road still pressuring utmost intensity to the inside. And now New York Boy cut loose to the outside as these four are in a line by the quarter pole. In behind that quartet, Caribou Cat moves a closer fifth. And Dream Meister's running on from the back as they arrive at the top of the stretch. And Heat Road uh, emerges with the lead. But on the outside, here's New York Boy who's coming at him and coming on. And New York Boy over the top by the eighth pole. But Heat Road is battling back to the inside one sixteenth left it's heat road on the outside new york boy here's costa mesa from last costa mesa and a well-timed ride by the apprentice brandon duchene gets up to win going away over new york boy and heat road and the running time was 118 and one Number seven, Costa Mesa rallies from far, far back to get up to win on the class drop under the apprentice Brandon Duchesne for owner Frank Haberkamp, trainer Andrew Valenzuela. Number seven, Costa Mesa, 24, 80, 11, 66, 20. Second, the four, New York Boy, third, three, Heat Road, fourth, eight, Sucker Punch, and fifth, number six, Conquest Skedaddle. The Daily Double, $190.60, the Super, $5,625.40. The... Uh, Dollar pick three, $302.20, the exacta $170, the trifecta $454.80. No winners in the high five. Carry over into Saturday's card at $2,303.83. The running time for the nightcap, 118 and 1 fifth seconds. Well, that wraps up live racing for this Friday here at Turfway Park. Live racing returns tomorrow, Saturday, with a first post of 615. For all of us here at the track, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report.